Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 47 doubles gameplay. This is doubles pro on rail, and right off the bat I'm red team so I go left for overshield. They end up both rushing me, and it was a mistake on their part because I end up cleaning them both up, and my teammate is already on sniper. So we have overshield control and snipe control, but as you can see my overshield is almost out. And that is what this commentary will be about. It's going to be about the battle for overshield. And it's not going to be about how to rush overshield, but it's going to be about what you should do when you have overshield and what you should do when the other team gets overshield. In this match, I think we trade off the first two or three. The first, I think the first three overshields we trade off. So we got the first one, they get the next one, we get the next one, they get the next one. And then I think we get the end the we end up getting the final two. And the last one is extremely close. So I just want to explain to you what you should do off the bat with overshield. If you get overshield off the bat, what you should do is obviously try to take out the person who's rushing it or people who are rushing it. And then right after that, you should go to snipe spawn. I've said this in my previous video, but you want sniper control after you have overshield control. And then that should do a good job at setting you up for the next overshield. So the next overshield is spawning at 1025 because it's every minute and a half. And my teammate and I want to make sure that we work our way over there. And that's why we're going top purple, because we're trying to work our way over to Overshield. Unfortunately, uh, their teammate spawns, and they end up getting that Overshield. So they have Overshield, and what do we do? I know that he went top yellow, so I just keep nading it. You know, I'm just trying to peak shot right here. As you can see, I'm just not trying to jump out. I mean, I jumped out on Null Fade because I didn't expect the Overshield guy's teammate to be there, but you could see that I put two nades on the Overshield guy, I shot him with like three or four shots, and then I weakened his, teammates to no his teammate to no shield, so my teammate was able to pick him off. Whenever you know they have Overshield, you want to play pretty passively, and you want to just get as many shots as you can on the Overshield guy. So I'd recommend just try to keep your distance, and... Uh, just make sure you pre-nade them, make sure you call out where they're going so you and your teammate can uh, double team them. And that's another thing, if you have the chance, just stick by your teammate when they have overshield because overshield, if, you, if you've ever had overshield, then you run into the opponents when they're, they have both people there, you pretty much get melted. Like your overshield is gone instantly and you end up dying. So if you can double team the overshield guy, that's even better. But other than that, keep your ground, try to peak shot, um, which if you don't know what peak shotting is, it's pretty much just, you know, take a shot or two, go behind the wall again when they take their shots, take another shot or two, and then don't be afraid to run away at that point in time because you essentially lowered their overshield enough. Right now we're setting up for the new overshield, and I end up getting it, but look what happens immediately. They were ready for it, I get sniped, I get, sh I get sniped twice or three times, and... I get BR'd once or twice. So my overshield is almost out completely. My teammate is able to pick up a kill, which is nice. But um, that's what happens. I got the overshield, but there were two of them there to shoot me. And it's instantly gone. And you can see that we already lost the lead. So when you have overshield, what I should have done there is immediately when I grabbed overshield, since I knew my teammate was gone, he was dead. I should have just run away. I should have run to somewhere where they both weren't, but instead I tried to just stay revealed for a little bit too long, and I end up getting sniped a couple of times, I end up getting BR'd, and my overshield is essentially gone. So, you know, if your teammate's gone, then you want to just run away, um, but if you know that there's one of them on the map and you get overshield, then you just rush them or if you know one of them's alone you rush them because overshield you know even if you even if their teammate comes a little late into the fight you're still going to be able to pick off the one guy and then put heavy shots into the other guy and your teammate will probably end up finishing him off so don't be afraid to rush but if there are two of them there and your teammate's dead never rush with the overshield just wait till your teammate spawns and then rush so you can see right now uh, i was just trying to control the top teleporter spawn because overshield's up like now I, I dropped down for it but they are timing the overshield these guys are good they know what they're doing it's 47 csr in doubles but um i'm able to fortunately assassinate the null fade guy 
when I went down to get overshield, I didn't know he was there, but after he was there, my teammate dropped down, so there were all four of us right by the overshield spawn, and they just grabbed it. So in that situation, you should pretty much focus your shots only on the overshield guy. I was lucky to assassinate him, because if you pick up overshield and there are two people, two enemies around you, and you know they're like on both sides of you, chances are you're going to probably get extremely weakened or you're gonna get assassinated so that's another strategy for attacking overshield you know you can wait <clears throat> if they get it then you can then you can just like send you and your teammate and just try to rush the guy because you know you could figure if they have overshield you're both gonna die anyway you might as well just try to take him out try to assassinate him or just you know double beat him down can you know just weaken him as much as you can and sometimes it actually does work when you just ru you just both rush the overshield guy especially if his teammate isn't nearby so in this BR fight I realize that I tell my teammate all right overshields up soon overshields up soon he goes to that spot right by overshield and I take the lower ground right here just in case he dies or just in case anything happens when you know overshield is coming up you can't just send one person you have to send both people. Uh, the other person has to be up top, the other person has to be on the side somewhere. You just have to have two people at overshield because, you know, it's an easy nade and a shot in order to kill the person going for overshield and you could end up dying and then they get overshield and then the person who's alone dies. It's just bad things can happen if you don't send two people to overshield. So you should always do that. So, um, right there, my teammate still has a little OV loss, so he's going for the kill, but he gets double teamed. And you can see that it wasn't super smart for him to run in when there were two of them there, but he thought I got them weak enough in order for him to finish off a kill, so... Um, uh, it's not exactly a bad play on his part. So, right here, we have one guy down. Um, what I'm trying to do, and what I usually try to do when in between overshield spawns, is... I try to just hold top teleporter, or I hold top purple, top yellow, you know, I don't really try to move that far from the center of the map, because I know overshield control is everything um, on rail, especially against good people. You may think that just adjusting your playstyle solely for the purpose of getting overshield every time is a waste, or is like cheap, but... I hate to tell you, if you don't do it, the other team will time it, and they will get overshield as well. So, we know overshield is coming up. My teammate was top teleporter. Uh, that's just an example. Our awareness, we knew overshield was up at 421. My teammate was there. I was going to back him up, and he ends up dropping down and getting it a split second before the other guy. So, now that we have overshield control, I know that this guy's top yellow. I end up finishing him off. And the last guy's there, my teammate still has overshield, I try to put shots into him, and there's nothing Null Fade can do, we end up winning that one. So, you can see how close the game was. We won 30-26, to 26. I ended up with 20 kills, but that entire game, all the way up until the last overshield, we were essentially trading the lead, because we kept trading overshields. So, you know, it's. I hope this gameplay helped you with um, what to do when you have overshield, and what to do when the enemy has overshield and uh, some good routes to take, some good things to do to set up for overshield. Um, I don't mean to emphasize that overshield is super important on rail, but it pretty much wins you the game if you know how to time it well and you know how to set up for it. So anyway, this is a doubles CSR 47 gameplay. I have more doubles gameplays to come, to come more other gameplays to come. Like and comment if you would like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And that is all, so see you later.